Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and this is just going to be a short video just to kind of update you on things, and mainly to look at the results of my poll. What should Roam play next? So let's see how everything ranked up, shall we? In last place was Jumper 3, with, fittingly enough, 3 votes. That's kind of sad, unfortunately for me, because wanting to do this as a blind Let's Play, I'm going to have to wait to play this one, and I've kind of been itching to do so, so yeah, that's going to be hard for me to resist. I might have to take that icon off my desktop, because it's been very tempting. Next up was Legend of Zelda, with 9 votes. This one I've been helped out a lot on. A lot of people have posted to actually tell me what a minimalist run would entail, what all I'm allowed to get, what all I have to get, and what all I have to leave behind. So that helps out a lot. That makes my job a lot easier. Thank you very much. Next up was Imperishable Night with 10 votes. I'm actually kind of looking forward to doing this one, though it will be a while. There's really a lot that I think I could show off with this one. There's... <laughs> it's obviously going to give me problems, and I'm certainly not going to make it through it unscathed, but it should still be fun. Next up, Metroid and Castlevania tied with 12 votes each. So I guess when I get to these two, I'm going to have to post another vote to do a tiebreaker between these two. Next was Secret of Mana, with 15 votes. The more I think about this one, the more I'm kind of looking forward to it, so I'm glad it placed fairly high on the list. Then came Mega Man Battle Network with 25 votes. I'm going to be doing a poll on this one coming soon, more about that later. So yeah, only one choice left. Ah! Yeah, that's kind of definitive. <laughs> Mega Man 8 blew the competition away with 110 votes. Out of 196. Yeah, that's over half. Nothing else even cracked 30. That's definitive, and kind of frightening. I hope this isn't some <laughs> some indicator that I'm going to lose a lot of viewers when I run out of Mega Man games, because those days are numbered. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, right, so Mega Man 8 will definitely be next. I just hope when I move on to other things, I'll still have viewers. But I digress. I'm actually working on a short project that is involved with the first Mega Man 8 video that I'll be doing. So it's not quite done yet, so it'll still be maybe a couple of days before I'm really ready to record the first Mega Man 8 video. So until then... You know, bear with me, and I promise Mega Man 8 will be started as soon as possible. So in the meantime, I'm putting up a new poll on my site. As usual, I have a link to my main site over in the video description. This poll is for Mega Man Battle Network. That is to say, how people want to see that one done. Do they just want to see boss strategies? Do they want to see the whole game, or what? If you want to see the whole game, if I do the entire game, I'll probably do things like chip grinding, things like that, off-screen. Just concentrating on main plot areas and things like that, actually filmed, as well as, of course, boss fights. So, I'm interested to see what people think of that. Myself, I don't mind doing it either way. In fact, I'm kind of looking forward to whatever I end up filming of Mega Man Battle Network, because I love that series. So a few more things I want to cover here. I've actually talked about them before, but for newer viewers that were asking for certain things. First off, fortress stages in the original series. A lot of people have been wanting to see me perfect run those. I'm sure I could, given enough time to practice them and everything. It's not a matter of ability, it's a matter of desire. I'm just really not that interested in the, forest, uh, the uh, fortress stages. To me, they're kind of boring compared to the Robot Master stages. The bosses aren't as memorable, and just in general, I don't have as much fun with them, so I'm afraid I really, I really wouldn't have much energy doing the commentary during those. That's my main worry there. Sometime if I get really bored, I might do them, but, you know, on my own terms and when I really feel like it. Next comes the X series. A lot of people keep asking me for the X games. I seriously have absolutely no desire to do the X series. I never enjoyed it as much as the classic series. The characters aren't as memorable for me, nor are the bosses. I always mix up which Mavericks were in uh, which game. That's how not memorable they are for me. The enemies, they kind of come across as very soulless and cold. Aside from the occasional cameo of a Met or something else from the original series, like a Batonton that has some actual life in the design, they just really strike me as boring. There's also the matter of Vile, who forces you to lose both times you fight him in the original game. No matter how good you are at fighting him, no matter how good you are at dodging him, he forces you to lose against him before you can advance the game, and I hate that kind of thing. That just sucks. It drives me batty. Final thing is a lot of people still asking about Mega Man 9. 
Believe me, I'd love to do that. I still don't have the method to record off consoles, however. The demo you saw of Mega Man 8 was actually filmed off of an emulator that was shown to me by one of my viewers, Seb2Net. So thank you very much for showing me that. However, I still cannot record off of consoles. Believe me, I'd love to. I love Mega Man 9, and there's also a lot of other games I would love to record, but for now, unfortunately, I can't do so. But whenever I have that method, yes, I will indeed do perfect runs of Mega Man 9. So, really, I think that's about it. That's about all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very, very much for voting, as obviously a lot of you did. And I will see you next time with the first video of Mega Man 8. So, yeah, just bear with me until I can get my little minor project done. Hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Hopefully people will like it and it'll make people laugh and things like that. So, until next time, this has been Roland Mithril, and I'll see you then. Until then, fare thee well.